Hello, welcome to the first Zen Pop box of 2020. Let's open it up, find out what sort of fun Japanese goodies are inside, and then try to make something either with them or based off of what we find. All right, let's see. Okay, all right, the first thing I see, it looks like there are three paper clips and sticky notes based off of Mount Fuji. Let's take that out of the packaging. It's like a triangle Mount Fuji shaped blue sticky note with a white snow cap on the top. And the sticky part is actually on the base of it. Take one of these out. Sticks like that. <laughs> and then there are adorable paper clips that you can see when placed on the paper. Look like little mountains. All right, next I see a little, uh, looks like a hamster. Here's our little green hamster eraser. So cute. Like the amount of detail that goes into something that you're meant to like destroy with your mistakes. Although that's life, isn't it? Beautiful, but we destroy it with our mistakes. But that's a little too deep for a little hamster eraser. You can keep it on your desk and be all cutesy. Especially when your regular eraser looks like this. Oh, I could make him a bed. Aww. Well, all right, next thing I see. What the heck? So this is the Zenpop 2020 calendar. I assume you gotta like open it up. It feels like it's a CD case. Oh, it is kind of, it is very similar to a CD case. Oh, so that folds out this way. All right, so you set it like this. And then I assume you remove this top layer here. And there we have January. So all the illustrations come from Full Moon Magic, which is Zenpop's original manga. So I assume each month is going to have another illustration. Oh, that one is so pretty. That's March. Wait, where's February? Oh, you turn it around. <laughs> oh, and they give you a little Japanese word and then tell you what it is in English. And we have March. I think that's gonna be my favorite. And then another vocabulary word to learn. Oh, that one's pretty too. April. May, my birthday month. June. <laughs> it's like Totoro. <laughs> that one's cute. Some fun art. Ooh, fireworks. Oh, a person. It's a human being. I like art with human beings in it. It's just a personal favorite. A uh, little pumpkin for October. <laughs> Taking a bath. And December. I just thought of something I could do with this. I could make my own based off of this and use this case for either a following year or for this year if I wanted. There's one idea. Let me see what else is in here before I get too attached to that idea though. <laughs> oh, it's a little butt. I see a butt. Pom pom hips. <laughs> some more butts on the back. So we have another item featuring a hamster. It's a pink notebook, hardcover with lined paper inside. So you can probably, oh, whoa, that's, it's felty. Can you hear that? Don't mind me, just touching this hamster's butt. And then on the back, there are three more without the felt butts. All right, I also, ooh, I see an art supply. It looks like it's the color green. That, oh, that has a shimmer to it. I feel like all my old gel pens from when I was like really young have dried out. I think I saw something else. Oh, it's purple. What is this? I've never seen one of these before. Oh, so it's a Z it's zebra brand. We open it up. Okay, it's got a chisel nib. Excuse my nail, I got paint in it and I can't get it out. <laughs> See how this looks? Is it like a highlighter? Oh, you can push in on it. I think there might be a shimmer to this as well. Maybe not, but it's a very pretty pastel purple. Kira Kira in Japanese means shiny and sparkly. These are supposed to leave glittery lines. I mean, uh, sort of. I mean, next to the gel pen, it's a little lacking. <laughs> does, he, does looking at sparkly and shiny things make your heart feel whole and happy? We hope that you will shine and be happy throughout the whole new year. I wonder if you have to like get the glitter to come out. Oh, I think there it is. Okay, they're not bleeding, but they, oh, there's a little bleeding there and then the rest is just shadowing. Ooh, and it got on me. And so those are the two little art supplies in the box. See what this is. This looks like confetti to me. There are 30 of whatever they are. All right, so it says that the words on these little guys are common Japanese greetings. I'll have to take their word for it. I don't know where it is. Oh, there's stickers. Here's a couple of them. And they're little seals and you remove, yeah, the backing and then you can seal an envelope with them. Actually, why don't I just stick that in here before I lose it? Wait, there's translations. Um, this one 
means grateful feeling, so I assume thank you. So maybe this one means small token of appreciation. They look very similar and yet different, but this one definitely means congratulations. I don't know, why should I guess? I'm just gonna look stupid. <laughs> oh, so these are little money envelopes. Apparently in Japan, it's more common to receive money at New Year's than presents on Christmas, and they like to give them in cute envelopes. Oh, and there's note cards too. You found the way to my heart. <laughs> How cute are these? They have a fun texture to them too. They're not just like regular paper. They have like a, they're more pulpy. That's the word. <laughs> and there's a long thin envelope and then you can stick your card in there with the money. The most important part, right? Wow, that is cute. I love the colors. And then there's the little animals on it. Oh, and Mount Fuji. Oh, and then there's three plain white papers as well. If you need to write a longer note, I assume. All right, we also got a washi tape this month. Whoa, how much packaging is in there? It's giving birth. Ugh, there we go. <laughs> Looks like there's some gold foil on it. Oh, it's actually got little washi tapes on it. That is cute. It's a washi tape with like a floral washi tape pattern. That's funny. So it's got gold and silver sparkles in there. That's adorable. <laughs> I really like the color too. It's like rainbowy, but also muted. And then finally, the last item is, it looks like some more washi tape, but it also has a dispenser. It's kind of like the little glue dispenser we got. So last month, I can't even remember. Apply it here and see what it looks like. Ah, cute. Everything's so cute. I kind of wish the color scheme of this matched the washi tape a little bit more Then you could use them in conjunction. But this is a much more green and orange pattern and this has more pinks and purples, but it also has oranges. So it's like rainbow, you know? And then this is really rainbowy too. So it's a 10 millimeter decorative tape. And it actually has a little bit of the design on a sticker right on the case. And that is everything in the box. The first thing to do would be to open up my sketchbook. I gotta hide the cover because I don't think I've posted that video yet. <laughs> you don't need to know. And then in here, I'm gonna probably just grab a pencil because the only two art supplies they gave us was the sort of sparkly highlighter and the glittery gel pen. So let me grab my own pencil here. I can use this pencil that came in another Zen Pop box. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna paint all over me, don't I? Now we had two different hamster items in here. Two with Mount Fuji. Oh, and the calendar thing. That could be fun too. Let me just warm up the old wrist by drawing a character <laughs> as always. And then from there, I'll try to take some inspiration from what we're actually surrounded by right now. And everything in this box is kind of centered around like the new year. So maybe I should try to make like a new year theme drawing. Really enjoyed drawing big ears lately. <laughs> and we have like two hamsters here, right? Don't hamsters have figures? So that fits the theme. Hmm, and we have like this Mount Fuji thing. What to do with that? <gasps> what if we used it for like a dress? Is that possible? Do you see what I'm thinking? At least for this drawing, you know? So it has such a fun, like intricate pattern. That's kind of cute. Hey, that did not work. And then this could be for the top. Try to make it look kind of poofy sleeved. <laughs> can draw over that again, maybe. I think I need something a little darker to show up on top of the washi tape. So I'm gonna try the green sparkly pin. See if that shows up. Not quite. <laughs> I didn't remove the bottom half of the washi tape because that's kind of where all the stickiness is. So I was a little reluctant to get rid of that. So we'll try to just draw over it. <laughs> we have some extra pieces. I wonder if I could use a hat, even if like for shoes. Let me draw over that and then cut that out and see what that looks like. Let me just throw some hair on here. Maybe an updo. I wonder if like some fun tails to the dress. Like it's sort of coming from behind the dress. And it's attached to this section. So maybe add a little shading on it. Oh, we could use this purple. 
Oh, I don't know if it sticks. It doesn't want to stick to the washi tape. Well, that's a bust. We also have this, but I don't really want to cut this just for an experiment because there's only three of them and they're really cute. And there's a bow in her hair. <laughs> I might need a little glue stick. This is getting less sticky. Let's use the leftover pieces. Make a little bow to help make the shoes stay on. Oh, it's a little something random. It doesn't matter. It's all experimenting anyway. <laughs> oh, I could have given her a bracelet. And then the other thing I kind of wanted to explore was maybe drawing an actual hamster or something like that. Since we've got this little reference. Got like a round head with chubby cheeks. Little nose. It's my balls. Obviously, like most things do. Does he have a tail? He does have a tail. Little tiny one. <laughs> I don't see any sort of mouth on Oh, there is a mouth. Wait. It looks like a mustache. We're gonna color it in. <laughs> kind of exaggerated some shapes. <laughs> Let me try to draw one. <laughs> this one looks like a Pikachu. eyes are too far apart. Something's looking fishy. Not like a fish, but although wide eyes can sort of look fish-like too. That's not what I mean. I don't know if it looks hamster-like, but it's got the cute factor. Shade in that back foot for a little depth. Definitely got a Pokemon vibe to it. I gotta say this purple marker applies really oh, liquidy. What I should do is actually like look up a reference of a real hamster. Oh shoot, I did not get the head to body ratio right, that's for sure. Do you have little heads and big squishy bodies? Kind of like a big squishy rat. With a short tail. <laughs> oh, and they have like little hands. I can't find any pictures of like what their back looks like. What's your back legs look like? A little closer. <laughs> if you can make out what this is. Mm -hmm. Something about the body is very incorrect. I think they're just a little squishier. A little more hanginess. It kind of looks like a dog. <laughs> it looks like a puppy. I think they have like thinner noses though. So let me try that. And just kind of block one out. <laughs> a little poop tail. Still giving me chihuahua vibes. I think I'm missing something in the fluff factor. <laughs> kind of like the feet just sort of poke out of the fluff. And this is a little too chipmunky. Hmm. What makes all these little rodents different? <laughs> it looks like a bean. I don't know, I never had a hamster as a kid, so... It's hard for me to picture these 3D shapes by looking at flat pictures. Now it kind of looks like a bear. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> kind of just the idea of like small tweaks can make it look like a completely different animal. Kind of intrigues me. Let me just pudge up the legs a little more. Hmm. I don't know, that one looks like it's pooping. <laughs> What's the difference between a chipmunk and a hamster? Is one just like domesticated? Because <laughs> when I'm trying to draw them, they keep looking like chipmunks. Especially when I do that. <laughs> I guess chipmunks have a bit of a longer tail, don't they? Something I didn't use was these little stickers. If we put this in like a little hamster's hair. Oh no, it's not gonna, it's a little too big. I'll stick it right there for now though. Since I removed its adhesive backing. Oh, and it's got that gold foil, which reflects the light. I think we should definitely make a drawing that's kind of more 2020 theme. So maybe it's got like the numbers 2020 in it. It's a good place to start. And then we can have like fireworks, boom, boom, boom. And then let's give a character with a pet hamster. That way, if the hamster doesn't end up looking like a hamster, it's not like the center of the drawing, right? So eh, maybe we can get away with it. <laughs> I'm obviously not going to learn how to draw a hamster in one day here. It looks too similar to other rodents. And then I'm going to give the girl hair that kind of like mimics that rodent too. And it's the year of the rat. So if it ends up looking like a rat, that would be beneficial, I would say. <laughs> maybe if the girl has some mouse-like features, that would also be a plus. Give a little hamster someplace to sit. Let's put her hands up here, kind of like mimicking the fireworks, like pizzazz. Not sure on the hands, but let me just keep drawing. Maybe if the body is fixed, <laughs> the hands will make more sense or I can fix them from there. I can add like confetti and stuff. And then the tail. Oh, the tail's what gives it. Yeah, there we go. 
Maybe if I make her mouth smaller, she'll look more rodent-like. Is that how that works? I don't know. I have a very small mouth myself. The body, I'm just sort of winging it. I give a little expression to the legs by having one go up. Now, I don't know if I should get like my Copic markers out or try to get away with using most of these supplies. How about some purple hair? Oh, and a purple rat. This will keep the drawing very cohesive if we only use one color. Although we do have the green too. What can we use that for? And it also is shimmery, so in certain angles you're not going to see it as well. So we might be better off just using a regular liner for liner. Really simplifying the ears. <laughs> trying to give that mouse-like appearance. Rodent-like, I should say. We're not trying any mouse. Mice, mouse, mice, mice. I wonder if we can layer this up to get a darker purple. Or if it's a one-and-done supply. It's a bit... It must be water-based because it is kind of tearing at the paper thumbnailing this again. It would be really cool to kind of like, I don't know, try to make it look sort of like a magazine cover, I think is where my head's going. And the character. Mm. Oh, let me try it again. <laughs> and I want it to be able to fit in here so I can display it in this little frame. And I'm thinking like bold lines and then a very limited color palette. I'm trying to draw really simple, just black out the shapes and figure out how they would lay out on our smaller canvas. And by canvas, I mean paper. <laughs> so we've got to use like the limbs and the body to really be dynamic in some way. This isn't terrible, but maybe if we like twist it a little bit more. Whoa, this paper is almost the right size. Where did this come from? I think I cut this off from uh, A5. Well, that makes it easy. Although it's still the same number of cuts. There we go. Now I have a piece of paper the same size as this if I want to display it in our little picture frame. So this is the dimensions that I need my little thumbnail to be. So it's uh, it's about what I was doing. Now this looks too small. Just kind of work on the flow of it. It's the most important part when you're working on the thumbnail. What if the 2020 is coming kind of behind the character so you can't entirely read it? What about each of the numbers having a pattern? Because I really liked that pattern. Because if we're going to have a limited color palette, it might be fun to add texture so that there's interest in another way. Okay, I really like this pose and this kind of idea. So if I can add some more like blocky elements in the background, I think that's going to be exactly what I'm looking for. So let's grab this old sheet of paper. I'm going to put this behind it so I don't get graphite on it from behind. Try and put that in here so make sure there's room for the 2020 and it's gonna kind of come off the edge of the paper. Have the characters heads right here. Their bodies coming around this way. <laughs> Very basic shapes here. Now just looking at this I'm pretty sure I'm not fitting it on the page correctly. So I'm gonna like lightly erase that and try and make the whole character bigger. Make it take up a little bit more space on the page. And I can go in and kind of start blocking in some details. See how those look. Again, not pushing too hard with the pencil. So that if I have to erase, I can do that too. Do wanna, don't want to put ourselves into too tight of a corner. Oof, the body got small again. What did I do? What did I do? And we also need to like put some kind of designs down here. There's way too much space. Which in my thumbnail I put like some weird shape that looks like this. I don't know if that'll stay. <laughs> Alright. I'm not sure. But yeah, the body's still kind of small and not laid out well on this. <laughs> like the composition is kind of poopy. Not sure how to fix that without erasing the whole thing. And in that case you might as well just use a new piece of paper. Yes, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> But as I'm thinking, I'm just going to continue to draw this one. Because if I don't like it, starting with the new paper is probably going to be easier anyway. Maybe I can take the rat tail and kind of fill in some space. Or I can make the 2020 even bigger. I think I've got these letters lined up pretty well. What if we just write like something like New Year? I'm trying to fill in that space. And then we can maybe use the same shape and kind of follow that same diagonal line. Maybe change the textures in there or something. Maybe we can add some like small 2020s. Yeah. 
Just trying to like fill in the page, make it more interesting. Oh, I didn't draw the rat. There's still just a little quick sketch. From here, I could probably start adding in some line art. I don't know if it's quite working out the way I envisioned, but you know what does. Let's just start adding in some line art though. So I'm gonna take the kneaded eraser, kind of like roll it over it so that it picks up some of that graphite. We have the little rat. <laughs> Give him a little extra pizzazz and pop. Hopefully this doesn't bleed with the <laughs> marker. That would suck. Now add in the fun designs on these numbers. This will probably be the most time consuming part, adding in all this texture. <laughs> It's hard to keep them even. I find that with anything that's like a symmetrical shape that continues like this. What would be fun is like a starburst behind this. This is a nice easy pattern. <laughs> Stripes. That's probably why it's my favorite pattern to draw because it is so easy. It's like the lazy artist pattern. This one's a bit more of an interesting stripe pattern with parts where it breaks up and <laughs> becomes a dot. Here we go. It's interesting enough. Oh, well, we need one more for this last one. What if we do kind of like confetti shape? No, oh. <laughs> random. Talk about a lazy pattern. Hmm, what to do with this little New Year thing? If I had more faith in my white gel pens, I wouldn't worry about it and just make it white later. But those things never seem to quite work as much as you need them to. Haha, <laughs> the paper slipped. No. Oh, well, <laughs> this could be the ugly part. It's fine. It's fine. Hopefully the color makes this kind of more interesting. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I think I do want to border around her, but let's add the purple in first. Going in. Want to make sure the tones are pretty well separated. Otherwise we're going to have to maybe mess with some things. And when it comes to traditional art, there's only so many things you can mess with. Those are looking even worse. Let that dry before I go over that anymore. Ooh, maybe we can do that same pattern the half circles. A little difficult with this marker. Might have been a bad choice, but we're living with it. Try to use the edge of the chisel to get finer lines. I'm gonna color in the bottom to make it a little bit, since they get thinner as they go up, I might as well make that more obvious. I'm gonna color in the bottom scallops, really emphasize it. Ooh, that was a mistake. That was supposed to be, oh no. Boo, 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 boo. Big mistake. Big, 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 big mistake. <laughs> now I'm not entirely sure where to put the tones because there's so many overlapping ones. Let's have the green. Yeah, I kind of want to keep it mostly one tone, I think. Or one hue. No, because what I wanted to do is color in the starburst purple. Well, I'm, I mean, I should be able to get away with it if I add more black in, maybe. Oh, I could make that whole thing black. Wait, that's probably a better idea. Because I don't have anything solid black around here, so maybe the eyelash. But I think we can work with that. And then the letters, but, you know, I think it's worth it. Because I can't do purple, I just have too much other purple things. So let's make it straight black. Okay. Now let me take a look. I do like that. I think that's... Got enough like interest in pizzazz, but I do think it means we need something darker near the bottom. So what I was gonna do is just try and outline the character. Eh, but now I kind of have to do the whole thing. But you know, you live and you learn. I'm gonna take some purple and kind of color in a couple of these just to kind of bring the purple up there, but not overwhelm. I don't know, I always get to a part in my drawing where I don't care anymore. I'm like, it's not, it doesn't look the way I wanted it to. So then I just throw, start throwing everything at it. That doesn't mean it's turning out bad, it's just not turning out the way I envisioned it. So then I like keep trying new things to make it look the way I picture it. And those don't always work. And then it's just this big hunk of garbage at the end. And then what if we make a white stripe and then another purple one after that? I mean, then I could fill in the next stripe with perp with the black again. I mean, it's got some kapow to it. <laughs> Go ahead and stick it in here though. Oh, but it's, it's warped. Hey, look at it in plastic. It kind of instantly looks better, doesn't it? <laughs> How funny. Kind of want to use Posca pens on the plastic. I'm trying to think what I could have done better next time. Definitely plan out my tones. 
Maybe do a little bit more thumbnail work. Make sure I find something that I'm very happy with. I definitely lost a lot of the flowiness from my thumbnail. If you kind of can compare. I want to work on my tones. I need to find some kind of exercises. I mean, just drawing and messing up is probably going to help too. But I wish there was some way where I could sit down and like bulk work on tones. But yeah, here's my finished illustration. Oh, wait, I didn't use any like the washi tape and stuff. <gasps> what was I thinking? I gotta find some way to use the washi tape. Wait a minute. I could put it on her shirt. Oops, but only a little because it is transparent. And just cut along the edges again. Well, these days I gotta make a whole drawing with just washi tape. I think that'd be so fun. All right, it didn't add too much <laughs> of much. I kind of like this drawing still a lot. I think that one turned out really fun. Oop, the wash tape's coming off. I should tape that. I don't consider this a failure only because I like to use the box just as inspiration to draw something and look at all of the things that we drew, including this. <laughs> So thanks for coming along on this uh, Zen Pop journey. I had mentioned earlier that I might not be doing Zen Pop in the future. What I meant was I want to do less unboxing videos. So let me know which ones you like the best so that I can keep doing those ones. That's what I meant by that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.